So I'm Moz, I've ordered one of the uh, Kamit bench seats camper van beds and this week hopefully I'm going to be building it. So taking the week off work I've borrowed Rex and District Scouts headquarters to give me some plenty of room to, to build it. The boxes have come, four of. Before I start I got an email from the company saying that um, I need to prepare myself for this build as it's not the easiest thing in the world and I asked for some tips and these are the tips they sent me. So tip number one was to uh, only open one box at a time so yeah there's, there's four boxes here but also to open the one with the fixings inside first so that's this one all the instructions here bag of joints I presume some sort of fixings hinges and some screws I think the thing about um, why you should only open not all the boxes all at the same time is because the left hand side and the right hand side might get mixed up Tip number two was uh, if you haven't got an electric screwdriver buy one now, well, hopefully this drill will suffice. They also recommend you have a soft face hammer. Tip three was to set aside plenty of time. Uh, as I say, got a week off work, hopefully it won't take that long. And tip four was to make sure you have plenty of tea, coffee, it did say alcohol, I'm staying away from that, and sedatives, well, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we'll unpack the, uh, all the different bits and bobs. Left hand cabinet and right hand cabinet, or, or vice versa, so that's the push out button, two hinges, some more hinges there, various screws. I don't know what these are. These, uh, on that, don't know what that's for. And then these bits. And of course, there's these screws as well. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep all that in, that in that lid. I've put the other two boxes over there. But we'll have that. What I'm going to do next is check that everything on this is actually there. Okay, so page two, uh, install 5mm inserts, uh, install 5mm inserts into provider holes using a soft face mallet. Uh, the hinge mounting holes do not require inserts. Alright. Does that mean that I have to put one of those in every single hole in the bed? Apart from the ones which are like that. I think that's right. Right, so I think I've worked something out. Um, if you start off with this bit here, which I've worked out is that bit there, this insert here um, should be on, on that side. So obviously this diagram is for the other half. I reckon it's worth starting again um, with those two boxes over there and put all this away because I'd rather it match the, the diagram so I'm doing the first one. <laughs> so yeah, that's better. Uh, this is the match up now. This is the right half. So a bit of a suggestion to the guys at Camera Design. If you could put the, the fixings in the, the right half box and then you're starting off with the picture as it is there, and you do the second half, you're a bit more familiar with it. So. Right, let's get cracking, so insert goes in the hole. I'll put them in a either half the screw box, I don't lose them out of the back. Yeah, so the arrow points to which way the Fixing goes to the bottom of the fixing, not that way around. First one done. Nice and secure though. That was the next bit. So this bit goes. Yeah, two holes there. Right. If you don't know, I'm the only person in the world who doesn't know this, but I think that bit covers that bit there, so it doesn't see the screws. I'll leave those to the end, I think. Top. 
top tip, um, put your inserts in before you start building because otherwise you can't hammer it. Assemble first side panel. Tick. So now it's the uh, second side panel, which is pretty much the same as the first one. It's got this. It's cut out. Yeah, it goes around the wheel arch, I think, on the van. Second side panel. Done. Does it look like a picture? It does. Right, time for a tea break. Now, uh, assemble back rail, including hinges, using the M4 times 25 millimeter grips and screws, and M4 washers and nylon nuts. So let's do the, the hinge first. Three M four seems like no. because the way the sound counter sunk are. Oh, yeah. To install the five minute insert into provided holes using for the hinge mounting holes do not receive, uh, require inserts. Obviously because you'll never get a screw through. <laughs> Attach the back rail to one side panel. 
So um, it says to attach the crack drill to one side panel. This is where the um, this is where this cut out so it goes into that cut out. It looks like a quite a stick fit. So let's give that a bit of a tap. Job's a good one. Ah, probably need to screw it all together. So, um, back in the days, he's my, uh, my dad built his own camper van. This was an LT28, which was a bit bigger, a lot bigger. Um, and he built all the furniture from scratch. But yeah, it's nice to follow my dad's footsteps. I'm sure up there. Wherever he is, he'll be looking down and be thinking, what the bloody hell are you doing? So once you've got the uh, the back tie on and the front bit, then the next thing is, is fit the fit the two support rails using the four by twenty five millimeter screws. So, uh, that's these bits. This is quite simple because you can see there's the the holes lie up there. So on that side, on that side. Okay, next is the slider, which looks reasonably simple. It's just that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit. So U shape and four L shapes. So let's knock the old, the old things in and get it together. You know how it goes now. Okay, so the next step is to attach the back rail to the slider, the three pieces of that, so that's the one bit. There's two with three cutouts at the bottom. Cut out to the bottom. One thing which is quite is quite good with these um, instructions, you kinda of get confused which bits which, but there aren't any bits which look Identical. So if it's got three, three notches at the bottom, it's got three notches at the bottom. So it was doable. This is the three pieces. Three pieces. One, two. I can't see two. I'm stuck. I'll come back in a minute. So I said it, it said that it was um, three pieces. I can only see two, unless it means this, which is the. Uh, Ledge. So at least it means that I've got in touch with the guys in, in Hamilton. Let's see what they say. I've put these two blocks on, which seem to line up with these. This is the first time that it's not been flush. I think that's kind of halfway across. You can see that. That bit there. Yeah. there it's right in the middle. So, But it seemed right. That's where you put this bit on. Um, that seems to line up.
Don't put inserts into the <laughs> to the corners. Even straight back. See, this is the surface you get. So yeah, the third piece. Is it that bit there? Right. So I think I worked out these um, these corner ones. You put the um, four by twenty-five screw through. So the inserts are on on, on this back this back bit, and um, no inserts on there. So tip with the inserts. If the hole goes all the way through, don't put an insert in it. Um, and then these ones here. It's going to have some of these 4x40, M4x40 um, bolts, which will go straight through. Presumably, yeah, from that side, and not from this side. So that's that back rail uh, part with the two screws through there and um, these ones here in the corner going through. So there's a bit of a lip on this which was wasn't anywhere else. So the next bit is to attach the hinge to the rear of the slot rail. So these are with M4 screws. So there are three bits which you've got these slots on. This is assembled the backrest. The first bit refers to well obviously these two are the backrests because they're like narrower and then that's obviously the seat because that's quite a bit wider. This is the of the two bits of the backrest. This is the, the narrow one, so that's that bit. I presume these are Right, let's find these bits on that bit. Right, let's get tapping in into it. Hinge holes don't have holes all the way through. So I was worried with that you'd have to put a bolt through, and if you did that, then obviously the bolt the nuts would be on this side, which is really good. So presumably, it doesn't say in the instructions, but it's the old insert and these normal screws to attach the these hinges to these. <laughs> Nah. See these these hinge fixings, it's like kind of 
I don't know why they're kind of half way up the back of the bed. I presume it was flat, that means that that. Yeah. Good at it I'm going to attach these hinges here so the needs are just going to half fill there so it's quite difficult to hold out the screw. What I'm trying to do is tip this onto this. So I'll tip this up a little bit so I did these two first at the back and once those are attached it's pretty tricky actually to get these through which are on that one on that side so they're screwed on through here okay so once that's all done then this hinges like that Okay, so next is to um, assemble the retaining rail as shown. So that is, um, we'll put these two furniture blocks and these plates. So you slide the slide the slider point like it out, and then this then goes in kind of diagonally. Let's start way around. Plate, plate to the bottom. You can get it in if you put it in diagonal, just about. Lay it to the bottom, and then that goes that side, that goes that side. Now these screws are going to be tricky, aren't they? <laughs> so, how the hell are you going to get those in? Wish me luck. Attach furniture blocks to the remaining arm stiffener, which is just this piece. Um, so here we go. So there they are, furniture blocks attached. So this bit, this bit here goes here, and there's a gap um, there and there, so you can see the holes here, lines up that furniture block, so as you can see. <laughs> Finally worked out what it means by this bit here. These ones here. Don't need inserts on there. So it's the two there and the two there. They don't need the inserts because this big um, these screws go in to there. Okay, so this, this bit was pretty straightforward. I've just attached um, this uh, mountain block to put this latch on. Four by twenty-five mil screws, and these are the four by thirty. There's just the four per, per, um, per unit to put in these retaining blocks here. One thing it missed on the diagram is, um, which they've kindly emailed me, is this um, latch keeper. So, 
Say that took me, I think um, I worked on it for like Monday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, a bit of Tuesday night, and Wednesday morning. So, taking about two days really to do it. Um, you, you, I think you'd do it if you'd like a full weekend, you'd easily do it. So, um, definitely recommend it. I must, I really enjoyed doing the second one uh, because you knew what you were doing. Um, it was all pretty easy, really. Just getting those inserts in. There's loads and loads of those. That's a bit of a pain in the arse. You hurt your fingers after a while. Um, there was a little, there was a few um, things which I didn't get in the instructions, which um, can be designed work. As soon as I emailed them, they came straight back to me. I'm sure you can them as well. Um, I emailed because you could send photos and they send photos back. Um, there's a few things I thought were missing, but they weren't, they were all there. In fact, they give you more um, nuts and bolts and things than you need. So if you drop a few, you should be fine. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. I definitely recommend it. It's a really substantial, sturdy bed as well. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, a few people have said that they'd like a, a video of it. So I thought I might as well do it as I'm building it. So hopefully that'll help somebody in the future. Bye for now. Good luck.